Now this is a, a Youngins B11 movement. Uh, I've already taken the suspension spring and the pendulum rod off as well as the pendulum itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, this movement apart. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to let down the mainsprings. Okay, so beginning with the strike side. And there we go. Okay, so let's let down and then we'll go to the time side. And there we go. Okay, oops. Okay, springs are now let down, and so it's safe to work on. So well, this is my movement stand. I put the movement on the stand, and then we shall take uh, this back cock off, and here the screws. For a minute. Tray right here, and, and this is the back cock right here. This is the pallet assembly here. Take that off, put that here. Next, we're going to take this um, rear plate off. And this is how you <clears throat> work with a Youngins, and this is the B11, which is not a model or anything, but it's when the uh, movement was made. And uh, this uh, also has a number on the top called 151. That may well be a, uh, a model number, but I don't know. So, uh, yeah, B11 means that it was made in the, uh, the latter part of uh, 1911. Anyway, so here is the plate, and there's no surprises, it just comes, uh, comes right off. Whoops, <laughs> that's not supposed to happen. Anyway, so the, front, the plate is off. And these are the uh, wheels. This is the count wheel here. This is the center cannon. This this is the uh, uh, drive wheel. This is uh, the strike side. This is, or sorry, this is the time side. This is the strike side. So we have the fan here. We have the uh, warning wheel with the little thing right there. Little pin. And then we have uh, the can, okay, here. And we have the strike lever, lever here. Whoops, we'll just leave that out for now. Uh, count wheel, okay, this runs off the main wheel. And we have the star wheel, which is counts the strikes. And the paddle right here. We have, uh, oh, that's connected in the front. Okay, so we have uh, the uh, escape wheel and the uh, third wheel on the uh, time sides. So we've got to, to take this out, we've got to take that pin out. To take this out, we've got to go to the front. But uh, let me see, why don't we just take, uh, take this center one out right now. We'll just take that, oops, run the pin through, and take that out, a little pin right here, and then this, and then this, and then this, and that allows us to take the, uh, uh, the, uh, the main springs off of the barrels and this is strike side which has a little kind of an S right there 
and this is time setting. Okay. I think in this case the strike side says it has to do a lot more work, has a little bit larger spring. So we'll take this off, go to the front, and I think that's probably the only thing we have to take off. We take this little thing out here. Uh, we lift this. Oh, there's a washer here, so we're going to remember to put that back on. And then we have uh, a stop lever here. And we just, I don't want to do anything stupid to that spring, so we'll take that out. This then comes out. So now we have the front plate. This is the lever. These are not adjustable. Okay, so they are what they are. So, um, stop pedal goes on this, this goes on the cam, this goes in the deep slot of the uh, cap. And uh, pretty much it. We're not going to take this center one off. We're not even going to take uh, this business off. Don't really need to. Uh, we'll take these off if we have to uh, later, later to put the uh, the barrels back in, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some bushing work. So that's disassembly. Uh, the youngins be 11 movement.